Alright guys, I got some um, Arctic Silver 5 and a uh, soldering iron here. And uh, I don't know. I just, I kind of hate waiting for this tip to um, heat up. It's just, it seems like it takes a lot of time and energy to get this tip to heat up. You know, it just, it just takes a long time. And if you think about it, it's sitting in here like this, and it's all super loose and everything. It's just not, it's not conducting. I mean, there's air inside here and whatnot when you screw this on. And there's air on the inside of here. You know, going in between this here. There's just, there's hardly any conductivity going straight to the tip. Uh, so I was thinking, why not try to add some uh, thermal paste to it? Now, I know that Arctic Silver 5 only does about 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 or something like that, which only does about 3 to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. And this soldering iron to uh, melt lead free solder is about 365 degrees Fahrenheit. So, to increase performance in this soldering iron, I thought, well, why not try some Arctic Silver? You guys are probably going to be like, no, no, don't try that. But I've looked all over the internet trying to find out people that are trying to do this. And I haven't found anybody that says, really, not to do it. Well, some people say it's not very good and it won't work, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to try it for myself, upload this video, and um, maybe when we not, you guys will do it. Uh, however this video turns out. So, I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some to the tip. about all I got left in this tube. This stuff's actually kind of expensive. So you don't want to use much. Well, at least me anyway. I'm trying to help you guys out here by doing it myself. You want to kind of apply a lot because this thing gets super hot. You want as much there as possible. That's actually <laughs> quite a bit. Um, hopefully I can get it all in here without squishing it all up. And I can always clean this out with like brake, brake sparks cleaner or carburetor cleaner or something like that or rinsing out with water. You know, it's no big deal to me. I just thought I'd try it and uh, see what happens. It'll probably smoke quite a bit because the silver in here and the other compound that's, you know, making up this mixture. Might want to add some to the threads here. But really, it just goes up to this middle of the tube, and then into that. So it won't really make a difference. There we go, that's tight. 
wipe off my hand, finger. <clears throat> So we're going to go ahead and plug this soldering iron in. And the lights up. And this does actually have it. I'm not going <laughs> to... I had it off camera for a bit, but... You know. I'm not trying to... Tricky guys or nothing, but I want to try to remove this capacitor right here from this uh, soldering iron that has the thermal paste in it. This one right here. Oh, somebody texted me again. For that to heat up, my solder sucker right here. Yeah, that's kind of clogged. I need to clean it out a little bit. There we go. It just seems like I have very poor performance out of this soldering iron. I don't I don't know why, but I mean I got the heat temperature thing. I mean the knob's gone, but uh maybe it didn't have a knob, I'm not sure. I got it second hand. But uh, I stuck a screwdriver in here and turned it all the way to the uh max setting. Right now I kinda kinda smell something different. So, I'm not sure if this is really going to work, but, uh, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't see no smoke or anything coming from it. Is it melt? No, not yet. It usually takes a while for this soldering iron. But once it does heat up, usually if I have a fan or something on, it would cool it off a whole bunch, and it, it just, it wouldn't work very well. So I'd have to work in like, you know, 100 degree heat. <laughs> There we go, it's melting now. the capacitor. So, wait a minute. I forget where even that thing was. Oh, it's right here. So yeah, uh, not a whole bunch of smoke coming out of it, but uh, you do smell something different. But uh, it seems like I had to wait a little bit less time for this thing to heat up. 
than I would, you know, normally without any thermal paste or nothing. But this Arctic Silver 5, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's claimed to be 99.9% .9 silver. So, when that stuff all burns up, it'll be just thermal, or not thermal, but uh, it'll pretty much just be um, silver in between the, uh, um, the tip here and the shaft coming up here, or, you know, whatever, ceramic or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, it conducts a lot better, silver does, than just, you know, regular metal. So, I mean, I don't really see no smoke or nothing coming off in this. Now, let's say, put it down here or something and burn it. Well, then again, I don't even see no smoke, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I made a good line right there. But it seems like it, I don't know, it just works a lot better. Uh, let's see about melting this whole piece here. Now it's already melted. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but I can definitely see it. It just works a lot quicker, seems like. Yeah, that's, that one's already melted. And that one's already melted. That one's melted. Wow. Just seems like there's a lot more heat transfer at the tip of this thing with the Arctic Silver 5 on it. Just, it really surprises me actually because I looked up on the internet all over the place and they always say to not use the thermal paste or anything like that. They just, you know, just put it right on there. But really, I gotta say, this does the trick. It really does. Just, you know, kind of glob it on there and just screw it back on together. And, uh, man, I mean, this thing seems like there's a lot more performance out of it than uh, what I had before. Before, it would, it would just take, you know, a long time to melt something. I just have to keep it on there and keep it on there and then and I use my solder sucker here. But now, I mean, it just seems like I can just hold it on there for just a few seconds and it would uh, already melt. Here, see, here's a big glob right here. And yeah, I mean, you can see it bubbling and it's already melted. See? Look at that. Before, I mean, I'd have to hold that on there for, jeez, probably about 20 or 30 seconds for it to start to melt. I mean, yes, I might need a new tip, or maybe the soldering iron's, you know, like 20 years old or something, but, I mean, for just a little bit of thermal paste, putting it on here, I mean, wow. It, uh, it does the job. And yeah, that's already melted. <laughs> so yeah, wow. I'm actually really surprised on that. <laughs> and really, I don't even see any smoke or... I mean, I smell something, but something is definitely burning, but um, it's it's really not, as, not bad, actually. I, I barely even notice it. So yeah, try some uh try some of that Arctic Silver 5 here. And uh definitely don't buy this from Radio Shack. Buy it from some place like uh eBay or Amazon or something on the internet cuz you can literally get this for under $6 a tube. And I think this is like 2.5 grams or something like that. Uh, no, 3.5 grams. Okay. 
and you can get this for under six dollars a tube and it is literally the best thermal paste you can buy uh, well from my experience anyway you guys might uh, say something different but I mean that's that's the best stuff I've ever come up with and I mean this stuff ain't smoking or nothing and like I said it might smoke or maybe smell a little different for right now until all that extra uh, material or extra stuff that they have in there besides that 99.9 percent .9 silver <laughs> uh, they, it might burn off a little bit but you know then that silver will uh, conduct a little bit better than this metal in between the air spaces and whatnot and it will conduct a lot better uh, to the tip of your soldering iron so definitely uh, try the Arctic Silver 5 because literally this is the first time I ever tried it on this video or you know ever uh, and it's just I don't know it's performing so much better than it did before literally it did Yeah, I mean, that is just so much better. Yeah, that's already melted. You know, it might be the age of the soldering iron or something, but overall, putting thermal paste inside there in between the uh, covering and whatnot and the tip definitely works. So uh, I could really consider... Uh, trying that